Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do gel nails at home. And just as a disclaimer, I am not a licensed nail tech by any means. I just paint my nails a lot. So just throwing that out there. But I am super excited for today's video because I'm going to be using this right here. This is a pink LED lamp, you guys. Like... You guys already know I'm obsessed with pink, so I'm kind of freaking out right now. But yeah, I'm going to zoom you guys in, show you how it works, and then get into the tutorial. Okay, so here is the back of the LED lamp, and you have your on switch right here. And then when you turn it on, it will show you how many seconds it's going to be curing. And then over here, you can take it and adjust the amount of time. So yeah, throughout this video, I'm going to be using 30 seconds as my curing time. And then as you guys can see, you also have your cooling fans back here, and then your charging port. Okay, so whenever I'm doing gel nails, I like to start by filing my nails, and I actually just cut my nails and filed them right before this video, so I was just kind of fake filing right there. But after that, I like to take care of my cuticles, and I always use the Sally Hansen Instant instant cuticle remover and I just put that around my nails and push my cuticles back and this is more of a personal preference if you want to do this if you want to just push them back if you know what you're doing and want to cut them that is completely up to you and then after about a minute I went and washed my hands so next you want to remove the natural shine from your nails so I'm gonna be using a buffing block and I know every time I use a buffing block you guys are like oh my gosh like that's gonna damage your nails but I'm only gonna be doing this a little bit and this file does have a really fine grit and then again, I'm just removing that top layer. And then the last step to prep your nails is to remove any oils that may be on them. So I'm just taking a makeup sponge and rubbing alcohol and wiping that across my nails. So first I'm gonna be applying the Kiara Sky Base Coat. And just so you guys know, I didn't partner up with them on this video, but they did send me the lamp and the gel nail polish in PR. So I didn't have to use it, but I really wanted to. But anyways, no matter what gel nail polish you're using, you wanna make sure you're applying each layer as thin as possible. And if you get anything on your skin make sure you wipe it off before you cure it and then I just cured that for 30 seconds and there isn't like a set time to cure your nails it really just depends on what kind of lamp you're using and also what kind of gel you're using so on my nails I'm gonna be using sweet tooth which is this really pretty mint shade and I just like oh like this is perfect for summer and I absolutely love this color and as you can see with my thin coats this is applying so sheer but that is okay you don't want to try to rush and apply super thick layers you just want to take your time and again between each coat I'm gonna be curing it for 30 seconds so as I mentioned before if you get the gel on your skin or somewhere you don't want it you want to make sure that you wipe it off before you cure it because if you cure it it's just gonna be really difficult to get off so I just took a brush and some acetone and wiped it off so yeah you're just gonna keep repeating these steps until your color is completely opaque and this actually ended up being a four coater which might seem like oh my gosh like that's terrible but you have to keep in mind it's not normal nail polish so with normal nail polish if it's a four coater you have to wait for it to dry and the whole process just takes longer and it's like uh but with gel once you cure it it's dry so it's not really an issue you know but yeah right now you guys are seeing me apply the final coat of color and this is when I really try to focus and be as neat as possible because after this there's there's like nothing you can really do and then I'm just gonna finish off with the Kiara Sky top coat and again you want to keep this layer extremely thin because I feel like at least in my experience the top coat can get really thick for no reason so really make sure you're just like wiping off the brush before you apply it to your nail so I'm just gonna finish that off by curing it one last time and because this is a non wipe top coat I don't have that sticky residue so I am done and then I always like to end with some cuticle oil or some kind of oil because your nails they just like went through a lot and you don't want them looking all crusty after you did gel nails you know so I'm just using this Sally Hansen floral cuticle oil that smells so good like so good and then I'm just gonna massage that around my cuticle area let it sit for a few minutes and then wash my hands and right here I am attempting to show you guys that even though I did a base coat and top coat and four layers my nail isn't like super thick or anything so yeah I hope this tutorial was helpful and I will talk to you in my next video bye